Hi, this is Amit from Relanote. Today I'm going to show you how you can study or research any topic using Relanote and Relanote's AI tools. Let's get started. So here I've created a new note. As you can see, it's untitled. I'm going to give it a title, Human Brain, because that's the subject I've chosen to research on. And to start, I'm going to just um, click the forward slash, as mentioned in this note, use forward slash to access AI tools and additional features. So I'm going to click that, select the write with AI option. And here I'm going to say human brain um, anatomy. Let's just say that. And then I'm going to click the purple arrow here to send it to AI. And let's see what we get back. All right, so it's come back with the anatomy of the brain, cerebrum, cerebellum, brainstem, so and so, limbic system, basal ganglia, cortex, etc. I'm just going to accept that right now, and we'll expand on this later. Uh, but right now, I'm just going to accept it. And we, as you can see, we've got eight sections here from one to eight. I'm going to build up on each of these sections as we go along. So let's start with cerebrum. To create a new note, we are just going to uh, type in the at sign. And then after you type that in, you'll see this purple colored link. Click on that and it'll take you to the new note. Here, we'll repeat the same process. We're going to write with AI and we're going to say cerebrum and send it. Accept. And I want to create um, sub notes for each of these frontal lobe, parietal lobe, and so on. So I'm going to go ahead and type those in frontal lobe. Parietal lobe, temporal lobe, and occipital, I think that's how you pronounce it, occipital lobe. All right, so now these notes have been created. Um, I want to add this to a new notebook called brain. I'm going to save that there. I'll also go back to my original note, add that to the notebook brain, save it. And now we have notes for each of these sections. I'm going to go ahead and create notes for the other cerebellum, brainstem, limbic system basal ganglia ventricles I'm going to create separate notes for both of these ventricles and Oops, one second. There you go. And cerebrospinal fluid. Cortex. Oops, if I can spell cortex. And the last one is blood supply. Cool. Um, as we go forward, we're going to create sub notes for each of these as well. So I'm going to go here, type in write with AI, and select the topic brainstem, send it to AI. I want to make sure that these topics are also covered. So, midbrain, 
Pons and Medulla oblonga to Aya there and here. So I'm going to create sub notes for these mid brain. Oh, sorry, Pons and Medulla oblong oblong gada. There you go. All right. Cool. Um, I'm going to add this to the notebook as well. Cerebellum. Except limbic system again. There's a lot of subtopics in here that we need to create. Let's create the main node first for limbic system. Limbic system. Except, and then we want sub nodes for the main topics here, which is amygdala, hippocampus, thalamus, and hypothalamus. So let me go ahead and create those. And Hippocampus, thalamus, and hypothalamus was the last one. Of course, you can create nodes for all of the remaining ones, but right now I'm just going to keep it to these four because they were in our main note here. Let's go ahead and do basal ganglia. Except ventricles. Cerebro, sorry, spinal fluid, cortex, oops, <laughs> forgot to click the right with the AI. and blood supply. Okay, so here it gave me a general article on blood supply. I'm just going to not accept that and regenerate um, one which is specific to the brain blood supply. I'm just going to say brain here. There you go. That's much better. All right, so we have think our main articles, let's see, cerebrum, cerebellum, brainstem, limbic system, basal ganglia, ventricles, cerebrospinal fluid, 
cortex and blood supply. All right, great. Now that we have our main articles, what we can do is we can start expanding on each of these uh, sub articles as well. Um, and another way to kind of get dig deeper into any topic is using um, the other AI tool, which is autocomplete. So let me go and show you, go ahead and show you one example. So this is heart rate, since we are not creating a separate note or, about it or on it. Uh, let's just use AI autocomplete here. There you'll see that it's written a paragraph on the heart rate. Let me do that for a couple of other topics. Breathing, blood pressure, reflexes, sleep and wakefulness. So similarly, you can start, you know, um, creating notes for each of these subtopics. And at the end of it, you want to make sure that you have them all categorized under the, uh, under the same notebook. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. You can also create a sub notebook or subcategory if you wanted to for each of the subtopics. I'm not going to do that right now in the interest of time. Uh, I'm just going to do this as a demo. So I'll show you at the end of doing all this, what we can do is we can open the graph and then filter to the notebook brain. I'm going to reset the graph here and you can see we have a nice graph that shows the connections um, to each of these kind of notebooks. For the sub notebooks, they're not yet appearing in here because we haven't um, selected the notebook that they should be in. So let me show you one of them. So if, for example, if I create this limbic system, now it's a sub notebook under brain. I'm going to select and save this topic, amygdala, in this notebook. And then when I go back to the graph, you'll be able to see that note that we just created here. It's classified under limbic system. So that's how you kind of create an entire notebook to topic research using AI, using Relanote. And as you can see, now we have a substantial material that we can, you know, study or dig deeper into. Um, for example, I might want to, you might want to add um, an image here. Let's quickly do that. Human brain anatomy. I'm just going to go to Google, search for images. And um, I want something that's descriptive of all the parts. So this looks like a good one. Let's see, open image, a new tab. Just going to save image as brain on my desktop. And then I want to make sure I'm crediting the source. So I'm going to visit this page, copy the link. And here in my main article, I'm going to upload the image. Desktop brain. Okay, and let's give it a credit as well. There you go. Image credit. All right, so this is like a pretty good starting point from where we can learn about the human brain and all its parts and what they do, the functionality. Um, go deeper into one you know, of the sub nodes, start kind of um, building those out and using the right with AI or the 
autocomplete tools um, to dig deeper and basically learn a lot more than we could have by just using Google or Wikipedia. And this is like creating your own personal Wikipedia uh, for the topics that you are interested in. And as you start doing this, uh, building this kind of uh, structure and you start building different notebooks, over time, you have a, a great collection of information that you can go refer back to anytime. And, uh, you know, even refer to it on your phone or your uh, iPad or, you know, a tablet or whatever. All right. So this was how we can create um, an entire uh, notebook. Let me just save that so I don't have to keep uh, rearranging it. So, so this is how you can create an entire notebook about a topic, um, build out the subtopics, dig deeper, you know, and if you double click on this, it'll go back to the note. And all the notes are interlinked. As you can see, um, there are references below each note. So, for example, if I go to the first one, Cerebrum, um, and then frontal lobe, you'll see it's been linked in Cerebrum. You can go back to that. Cerebrum has been linked in the human brain. You can go back to that and so on. All right. Uh, please contact us if you have any questions and we'll be happy to help. Thank you.